Yo, what's good guys? I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Sofago, just like trippy red, like rage type beat. Let's get into it. So this is a chord progression I went with. And as you can see, it's really simple. It's literally just the top note. And then I just have like them layered like two octaves below. And then I just have like middle notes just playing and differentiating. And then I have this little arp thing up top. Then I got this lead right here and I pretty much repeated it for two bars. And you know, I kept it simple, but I also like made sure to keep it like catchy and stuff. Then I added this little pluck melody that plays like during the verse. And I just added it to like keep it interesting because I thought the chord progression would get like a little boring. And then I went to Purity and I just chose the classic sign lead and I just created this really simple like pattern where it just goes up a scale then down. And I made sure to like overlap the notes because if you overlap them they actually like slide into each other. And yeah that's pretty much the whole melody so I'm gonna just play like a bit of that for you guys right now. This is my high hat pattern, I kept it really basic, just added like a two step and then these two triplets right here. Then I got this open hat. And then I added the snare that plays during parts of the beat. But for my 808s, I pretty much just followed the root notes of the chord progression. So what I mean by that is I pretty much just followed the bottom notes of the chords. And that was C sharp, A, and B. So if you go back to the chords, they'll be the exact same. And yeah, I just play like a really basic pattern, you know, nothing too crazy. So as you can see, I turned up the velocity all the way. Then I went into here, turned down everything except for the hold. I turned that all the way up and then I turned down cut self. In that case, they're from like clashing into each other. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole drum pattern. So I'm gonna just play like two bars of that right now. So yeah, it's really basic, but that's pretty much all you need. Then for my mixing, I pretty much just do all my leveling and stuff right here. And then I added a soft cover to the master. This is the EQ on my chord progression. This is the EQ on my lead. For my pluck, I added nothing. I left it out of the EQ. And then this is the EQ for my sign lead. And then yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat after I arranged it. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and sub. And also turn on notifications. And also leave a comment on what other videos you want to see me do next. With that being said, here's the full beat.